Um, now, recently, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about since we can divide radicals, we can rewrite them as the same thing, right? This is the same thing as 2 over 10, right? Or which you could reduce to 1 fifth. But again, we have a problem. Does 10 go into 2? No, does 5 go into 2? So I can't simplify it like I did on the last problem, where I could easily divide them into each other. They don't divide into each other. So we have an issue. I have 3 times the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 10. Now remember what we kind of discussed. When you can't take the square root of a number and get a, an integer, then those numbers are what we call irrational. All right. Now we do not want to divide a whole number by an irrational number, nor a a irrational number by an irrational number. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of our irrational number in our denominator. To do that, what we do is the process called rationalizing the denominator. So Brandon, what I'll do to rationalize the denominator is I'm going to multiply by the square root of 10 on the top and the bottom. Now, let's go and look at why that works. If I had the fraction 1 half and I multiplied 1 half by 3 over 3, I would get 3 over 6. Is 1 half equivalent to 3 over 6? Yeah, it's just broken up differently, right? It's just a different ratio. But the, the amount, the value of 1 half and 3 6, they're exactly the same. So as long as you multiply the same number, I don't care what that number is, as long as you multiply the same number on the top and the bottom, you produce equivalent fractions. So well, what happens when I multiply by the square root of 10 over 10? Here, I can multiply these two, right? That becomes of 20. And then the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is the same thing as the square root of 10 times 10, which we just know is the number 10. It's the square root of 100. That's correct. It's the square root of 100, which is 10. Now, can I simplify the square root of 20? Yeah, you can rewrite this. So it would be 3 times 4 times 5 divided by 10. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Square root of 5 over 10. Then we can always simplify our fraction. 6 tenths is the same thing as 3 fifths. Three times two square root of five over ten. The square root of four is two. Two times three is six. Taylor, does that make sense? Okay, good. Good.